If you're struggling with cutting the angles correctly on your trim or you've struggled with it in the past, this video is for you. Today I'm going to show you a very simple tool that you can use to erase all the headaches and make your trim angles go together super nice. Hi everybody, I'm Jim Deardorff and this is Detroit DIY. Let's dig into this. Most of the time the problem starts by people assuming that this is a 90 degree angle. Therefore for a double miter you would need two 45's. I've cut these two boards right here at 45 degree angle on my miter saw and we're just going to throw them up here and see what kind of result we would get. Now, as you can see, we do not have a super tight fit on the outside here. It's a little gappy. It's just not very desirable. And the problem is, this isn't 90 degrees. So we have a very simple tool that can take all that out for us and tell us exactly what this is. This is a saw set miter protractor. And this will give you your exact miter saw settings for your trim. However, don't stop watching here and just order a saw set miter protractor and think your problems are solved. There's more to it than just this because there's other things that can get in your way or that can even give you a wrong reading on this miter protractor and we're going to cover all that stuff in this video. So what we're going to need to do is use a T-bevel. You pick yourself up a sliding T-bevel and we're going to use that to mimic this angle. So let's do that. So by loosening the thumb screw or the wing nut on the T-bevel, you get this, where you can move it around like this. We're going to snug that up to where it moves, but it's firmly. I'm going to snug it up just a little bit more so that it's a little more resistant to move. Now we're going to come over to the wall and we're going to replicate this angle with the T-bevel. Once we have that replicated, we can now come to the SawSet Pro and we can get our reading. So the SawSet Pro has this nice little notch out right here at the bottom that is designed for where this sits onto it and that you can get your reading. There's this line right here that you line up with the bottom of your T-bevel so that the top part of your T-bevel will give you your reading on the scale. Now one side is single miters and the other side is double. We're looking for a double miter. So we're going to set this on here and as you can see that is lined up with the 45 mark but it's not 45. So what we want to do is just to make it easier to read we're going to slide to this far side of this line right here. And we want to adjust it so that we just can see that line, just like that. And if you look up here, you can see that we are actually 46 degrees. We are not 45 degrees, it's 46. So we've set our miter saw wrong right from the very beginning. But wait a minute, there's more. Let me show you another problem that you may run into that can skew this reading that you're getting from your T-bevel. Even though you've replicated what the wall has, maybe you haven't done it exactly. Let's take a closer look. When the drywall is finished, they put a corner molding right here. And the corner molding stands proud of the drywall. And then they put their finished compound, their joint compound on here to finish the wall. The wall looks flat, the wall feels flat, but is it flat? Let's take a real close look with this board that I've got cut is a straight edge and see how flat this wall is. This is the opposite wall of where I was just at. I've got shadows so bad over there that this is going to work better. But it's the same thing. As you can see, I'm touching here and I'm touching here. But I have probably an eighth or three sixteenths of an inch gap right here. So even when we're using our T-bevel, we could be getting a wrong reading because the blade just isn't this long to make it this whole span across. Now the next thing that happens is even if we do get a good angle, 
sometimes we nail the trim here then we push it in and nail it tight here you don't want to push the trim in you want to nail the trim on the high spots and leave this gap and when you're all done you come back through and you caulk this and no one will ever know the difference and it's going to leave your corner tight because if you push this in tight to the wall it is going to change your angle over here thusly it's going to open it up because the angle is no longer correct now the same thing is true with the t-bevel if i use the t-bevel in this direction and then i get my reading on my saw set pro for my double miter it's going to show it to be 46 and a half degrees if i flip it around this way and i get the reading again there's that gap it's going to change so now it is actually showing it as 45 and a half which is a big difference between 46 and a half and 45 and a half so which one do we roll with well we roll with this being straight because like I said we don't want to push that trim in this is things you have to check for before you just go ahead throw this on here throw it on the saw set cut your trim and come in and go well that didn't work well of course it didn't work because you got a bad reading off of this wall and the shorter walls like this are going to be the worst they're going to be the ones to have the dips in them because there's just more material in a smaller area they don't always get blended out quite as much as a longer wall but longer walls everywhere where there's a, the drywall butts together and there's a finished joint there's going to be a little hump in that wall and it could be over a foot or a foot and a half wide so you can't see it you can't really feel it but it's there if you know that you have a dip in a wall like this because you've checked it now it doesn't matter you want to use your t-bubble right on top of this piece of wood and secure it just like this now you're getting a true reading to the full width of the wall now we can take that over to our saw set and we can get our true reading and our true reading is 44 and 3 quarters really close to a 45 so let's go cut that and see how those fit on there with these cut at 44 and 3 quarters this is the fit that we get it's perfect there is not one thing wrong with that fit it's tight it's nice and extremely acceptable and will make your life enjoyable when you're putting your trim on now let's take the saw set and go out to the miter saw so that we can set the miter saw with the saw set and you can see how easy that is so on the double miter side of the saw set we're going to use our t-bevel just like i demonstrated earlier and we are going to get our reading and it's going to be 44 and three quarters so the miter saw this is your exact miter saw setting there is no math required there's nothing for you to figure out other than setting your miter saw at 44 and three quarters of a degree my miter saw is set up for one degree increments so i just have to kind of guess where that three quarters is and that's not really hard to do and if, and if you're just a little bit off it's not going to matter you're still going to get a good result but it, it's just not that hard to do this tool makes it so simple let's take a look at the miter saw as you can see my miter saw goes 25 24 23 and then 22 and a half but I'm over here is where I've got it set at 44 and 3 quarters so I'm just a little bit to this side of the 45 and it would be the same thing over here just a little bit to this side of the 45 so because the markings are on the saw set that aren't on my saw it's no big deal just fudge it over just a little bit off of that and you'll get your 44 and 3 quarters and you'll have a nice tight fit that is what's so nice about this tool 
is it gives you that exact saw reading. This SawSat Miter Protractor is anodized aluminum with laser etching and it is extremely easy to read. It's, they're big letters, it's just so easy to read, it's unbelievable. And all of them have to be used in place with the T-bevel, the sliding T-bevel. And like I said earlier, the nice thing is, is double miters on one side and single miters on the other. So these aren't just for trim work, I mean they're really, really nice for trim work, but they can be used for woodworking, they can be used for figuring out any angle that you can replicate with a T-bevel. They also make the SawSet Pro. The SawSet Pro is ABS plastic. It is also very visible, very easy to see. The difference is the SawSet Pro comes in half angle increments where the SawSet comes in quarter angle increments. So it's, this one is a little bit finer of a scale as you can obviously see comparing the two. This one will give you a slightly accurate read than what this one will. This one's a little more economical, a couple dollars less than this one. They're both very nice, sturdy tools. They've been, I've had them both on the job. They're both very nice. The other nice part is they just fit right in that back pocket just like that, right along with the T-bevel, and away you go. You get your readings, you got everything you need. It's all right there. I'll put a link down in the description for both the SawSet and the SawSet Pro. I will also link you a T-bevel down there. So the, all you got to do is click down in the description, pick these up if you want to make your life simple. The last thing I want to add is if you take the angle from this miter protractor and you go to your saw and you cut it and you do not get the desired cut that you expected to get, something's off. Take a good look at your miter saw. I'll put a link down in the description for a video on how to tune up your miter saw because it may not be cutting what you think it's cutting. And that can also cause you a problem, make you pull your hair out, what's going on? We don't want to pull our hair out. We want to use this saw set, we want to use our sliding T-bubble, check our walls for flatness, come to our saw, set it, cut it, install it. That simple. That's all we got for this time. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would greatly appreciate it if you would consider doing so. I hope this video has changed the level of your game when you're installing your trim and that these tools right here make your life a whole lot easier. And if you enjoyed yourself, click on one of the two videos that are going to pop up next to me and we'll see you soon.